what is up guys? My name is Hoity Cordy. Thank you for watching this video. First off, drop a like for this video. Also, if you're new to my channel, you can subscribe for more Black Ops 3 content. So as you know, the MX Grand and the Marshall 16 has been introduced as DLC in Call of Duty Black Ops 3, which was very hard to get with supply drops. But of course, we're only in the first quarter for Black Ops 3. We're obviously going to get more DLC weapons in the near future. If you guys remember, when the PC beta hit around August, September last year, there were leaked files that showed us two weapons that would be coming to the final game. One was the Power Bolt sniper rifle, which turned out to be the SVG-100 sniper rifle we all know and love. And the next weapon was the MP7 SMG. There is actually gameplay on YouTube. I can't add it to the video because of copyright, but I'm sure you can find it pretty easy. Now, as you may already know, the MX Grand was a remake of the M1 Grand from the original Black Ops game. And the Marshall 16 was a recreation of the Executioner in Black Ops 2. Now, these guns have obviously been updated visually and has been imported into Black Ops 3. Now, only a week ago, there has been a new file that has been leaked, the M27 Assault Rifle. You may also remember this gun from Call of Duty Black Ops 2. Now, this image shows that the gun really hasn't been changed dramatically like the others, but we could also be seeing this gun being updated when it comes in upcoming DLC. Personally, I would love to see the M27 and MP7 come back in Black Ops 3 in the future with a similar design. They are both one of my favourite weapons in the Call of Duty Black Ops series. Now what do you guys think? Do you guys want to see old weapons come back to Black Ops 3? Do you guys think there should be a better way to unlock these weapons, either owning the Season Pass or completing challenges similar to Destiny's quests? I've spent about $100 on supply drops and I've never received any of these new weapons. What gun would you like Treyarch to bring back? Tell me in the comments below. Anyway guys, this sums up the end of the video. Remember to give it a thumbs up and if you enjoyed this video, subscribe for more Call of Duty content and I'll see you guys in the next video.